Good morning, everyone. How are you doing on this once again rainy Ohio day? I don't know if you can see me, but I'm over here in the passenger seat. Yeah, we got TQ. She's uh, <laughs> my co pilot for good today. Morning. Yeah, good morning to you, TQ. We got some. Uh, we got something exciting going on as long as all the plan goes the way the plan should go hopefully so we're currently on our way to pick up dan oil pump dan and uh we're gonna take a road trip out of the state and we're gonna go get something and believe it or not this is something for the lawn care season so uh remember the other day i told you about being prepared and planning ahead uh if you guys don't know right now is a great time to pick up lawn care equipment and different things for the lawn care landscaping season because it's winter time and it's also right around the beginning of the tax season for the new 2024 and the end of 2023 and once uh, let me make this very clear this is not tax advice whatsoever but this is the time that you uh take care of any of those little things that you need to take care of so uh be on those Facebook marketplace deals you know people still use Craigslist I don't use it that often but uh just peek around and you'll find what you need and if you can save a dollar save a dollar but anyways I'm hungry <laughs> I got one cup of coffee for right now I've got zero yeah currently uh, 7 a.m. we'll come back in just a little bit all right we're about halfway picked old Dan up oil pump Dan gonna grab some Bob Evans we were looking for a cracker barrel but couldn't find one the closest one was 36 miles out so I don't even where are we at here remember what this little Outside town of Fremont 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 Ohio anyways gonna grab some grub and a fresh cup of coffee first gas stop we're almost there we're only about 40 miles out but gotta get some fuel stopped at a loves yeah I don't know where we're at though somewhere in Michigan but yeah been a pretty smooth trip honestly been raining foggy kind of gloomy good day to take a road trip to go pick something up but i'm gonna grab a drink maybe a small little snack and uh use the restroom be back on the road all right guys we just got done buying this nice truck off ben you want to say hi ben how's it going how many years you been in business four four years 22 yep 22 years old absolutely crushing it guys Super proud of him. Just had a little bit of time here talking with him. He's absolutely doing big things. We're uh, gonna get his plate off here. I'll go ahead and show you guys the truck real quick. We are in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, really, really nice area here. Beautiful. Honestly, reminds me a lot of Ohio. It's uh, <laughs> raining, obviously. So yeah, kind of sometimes the stuff from Michigan trickles on down to Ohio. But this is, uh, this is what we bought here. So yeah, this is a 2001. Oh, Dan, I didn't even realize you were doing that yet. I didn't even know she got out of the car. Yeah, get out. Anyways, we needed some new windshield wipers, so Dan ran and got these real quick while we went and did the uh, old title. Yeah. Got them figured out there, Dan? I think so. We're going to have to adjust those when we get home. Yeah. These are the uh, Rain X ones, and they're not clipping in right. Hard to pull in. All right, so I'll let Dan figure that out real quick. <laughs> Sorry, Dan. I didn't realize you were already doing it. Okay, so 14-foot landscape bed on the back here. The sides drop down as well. We'll go more into depth with this whenever uh, we get home, but basically just pull them out there, pull them on through. Same thing back there. You can take this down if you need to. You can uh, put a nice skid of anything into the side here if we need to, whether that's mulch or salt anything like that has a nice dovetail off the back so four foot dovetail 10 foot flat and uh has the 4.8 liter diesel walk you guys around nice cage here on the back protecting the uh brake lights all of that good for bumping into things and uh yeah got a nice little light on there sorry i'm not gonna walk through the the wetness it's a lot like ohio right now soaking soaking wet but this is the uh driver's side pretty much the same as the other side take you guys in here yeah 
I believe it has 187, 85,000 miles, I believe. Uh, fire extinguisher in the back, so that's always good. Air conditioner is cold, heat is hot, power windows, everything work really well. No leaks, so that's always a plus. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna help these guys out real quick and we'll come right back in just one minute. All right, I had to teach uh, oil pump Dan here. It's not his specialty how to put on a wiper blade. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Anyways, check this beauty out. So Ben literally just bought this baby. New Holland. Hasn't even seen snow yet. Look at that. The snow wing is so nice. Hasn't even seen salt or anything just yet. Look, he's already got it logoed up there. Don't call Ben and bother him. He's a busy man. BVD outdoors. Look at, oh my goodness, guys, look at this. Still got plastic on the seats. Look at this. Yeah. CD player. This thing has a sunroof. A freaking sunroof. <laughs> this is awesome. Got your little buddy seat next door. This is nice. Wow. Wow. He said it literally just came. This is gorgeous. Oh, let me get out of here. What is it? Uh, wow. <laughs> Has the back drag on it. Nice. That's awesome. Big shout out to Ben here. Let me check his stuff out. 22 years old, guys. Do you know what that cost? <laughs> we're, uh, we're getting finished up here. I'm gonna chat with him again. Look at that, multiple trucks. He's doing phenomenal. How many employees do you say you have, Ben? Uh, four or five in the summer and nine in the wintertime. Nine employees in the wintertime, four or five in the summertime. If you had one piece of advice from you as a young entrepreneur and business owner, what would you tell everybody? Don't give up. Don't give up? It gets stressful, but don't let it knock you down. <laughs> yeah, stick with it. <laughs> so. That's cool, man. Yeah. I appreciate you letting me show everybody your stuff, man, you and bet. sell me the truck. So You bet. Hope it treats you good. And watching the channel as well. <laughs> I, I had no clue you watched the channel until you literally <laughs> told me in the truck when we were driving to go do the title real quick. So we uh, tell you how this deal went down. He posted on Facebook yesterday, right? Yep. Literally, like, as soon as he listed it, somebody tagged me because I just mentioned on a video that I was looking for a landscape bed, uh, Isuzu. So instantly I get tagged, and I'm like, okay, I'll message him. He's in Michigan. He said, come and get it. So we drove on up here and that's the deal. We're driving over to do the title. He says, I watch your videos. So pretty cool, man. That new Holland is awesome. Awesome. Heck yeah. Excited. <laughs> yeah. Now we just need the, uh, the old need white gold snow. as they call it. Yep. You exactly. Bet. You bet. All right. We'll be, uh, we'll be back in a minute. As soon as we get on the road, we're just fixing a few little things real quick. Stopping to get fuel. All right, let her fill up. Still had about a quarter tank, but we lost TQ. We came through some uh, crazy traffic. Still raining, which stinks. No fun. She's doing good though, doing real good. I noticed this as well, after we got out, it has a spot I can put a hitch on. That's pretty cool. Running really, really good.
guess I could have checked the lights real quick while we're doing this. Yeah, let's see the other one real quick. Yeah. Looking good. Looking good, yeah. Checking the lights. Oh, you must have known, Dan. Let's see if the brakes work. Oh yeah, looking good. She full? How do we do? 75? Oh, got an angle down. Let's see a lot of this. All right, we're gonna wait on Savannah to get here and we're gonna be moving on. Filling up here again, about 40 miles from home. So, uh, probably could have did it with two full tanks. But I stopped a bit early, it's starting to rain again. It's been dry ever since we hit back into Ohio though. Gas is 379 here, I believe that's what it was earlier as well. TQ over there. Big shout out to Oil Pump Dan. He, uh, helped out a lot we appreciate that drove savannah's car most of the way back she rode with me and uh mainly we hit a bunch of rain and it was dark and just not when you're not in the right area or know where you're at kind of tough but yeah i'm gonna get home probably be about 10 30 gonna change a hot water tank so that'll be fun guys it is literally almost 3 a.m. in the morning trucks delivered we got it here in one piece uh, we'll have to have the ABS checked out the brake system there whenever we were going to stop there a few times just wanted to grab if anything I'll just disconnect it or whatever uh, but big shout out to my buddy Noah big shout out to oil pump Dan as well I got great friends guys really great friends um, and they're just phenomenal. So I'll give you a real quick rundown. This actually started yesterday. Uh, last night, Noah picked up the hot water tank for me. He was coming to help me do it. And uh, long story short, we bought the wrong one. We didn't realize that it came in a tall and a short. And we got the tall and we needed the short. So we couldn't return it because it was like right at store closing. The hot water tank literally went out at the end of the night. So anyways, Noah gets here. We figured that out and then uh, we ran into a breaker issue where we actually had water running down and into our breaker box. So we got that taken care of. And uh, basically the seal on the outside of the house uh, where the main cable comes in, it had a crack in it. So we got that all cut off and resealed. And then, uh, yeah, fast forward to today, we get back with the truck. Noah meets me back here. It's about 1030. And uh, we worked on this for probably a couple hours. It didn't take real long. Uh, more or less, though, we got error because we had no hot water tank for a whole day. We got a bunch of air into the lines. So we had to get that all out. And that took a little bit longer. And working through a few other things. We had to do some new plumbing here uh, to figure, to make everything fit. But I'm going to bed. I need to get a quick shower. I stink. I've been in the truck all day long and uh, working on this the rest of the evening. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys back here in the morning. I am tired and I wore out. So I'm going to get a shower and I'm going to bed.
We are not in Kansas anymore. Don't mind me right now. I'm exhausted. <clears throat> we uh, that was a long trip, <clears throat> real long trip. Anyways, there's my hat. Here, I'll make it look better. <laughs> Got to go uh, finish the title. Actually, shoot, almost walked out and forgot the title. That'd have been bad. Heading to the BMV, get everything done. Finally stopped raining. Sun came out for about an hour. Not long enough, but uh, I'm liking what I'm seeing, guys. No joke. As you can see, this whole front now is drying up really, really well. Puddle ran out where we opened that little spot up. Yeah, buddy. I think once we get these walls done, this baby will be good to go. What we're going to do is put that tube around the outside. We're going to line it. I am not going to tar this thing, guys. The cracks on these block. If you see the cracks, none of these block are like perfect, guys. You see this? These jumbo blocks are basically just leftover concrete from when they do jobs. The water isn't coming through the two foot block itself. It's just coming in those cracks. And once we get that sheeting on the outside of it, I think it'll be good to go. I really don't think the tarring would do a whole lot. Uh, yeah, anyways, I'm liking what I'm seeing a lot. Those cracks, yes, I know those joint cracks are not meant for that, but it definitely gave the water an alley to uh, run out, if you know what I'm saying. So, hey, we're drying out. That's good to go. And uh, as soon as this property dries out, we'll uh, get the rest taken care of, and we should we should be doing a lot better. So, yeah, a little salt bunker update for you. We're on the right track.